I have always been nice, always been sweet, but you know what? I'm looking to add a little bit of cayenne pepper to my sweet brown sugar. Hey everyone, it's your girl Sanj. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, how you doing? Um, today's video is gonna be all about three phrases that I am intentionally removing from my vocabulary. A little bit of backstory about this. I have always been the nice girl. Okay, I was never one, you know, who really had a lot of drama with others. Something that I've just been learning lately, especially being in the work world now, is that nobody benefits from you playing small. And I realized that I had been playing small and had been socialized to play small um, verbally in the way I spoke in a lot of ways and ain't nobody got time for that okay i'm out of you know quarter one of my life turned 25 um gosh yeah like three months ago so anyway in this next quarter i am walking in all the things including in boldness and confidence in a new way so stick around for these three phrases phrase number one that i'm removing from my vocabulary is trying um, this is something that actually a lady from the military called out that I didn't even realize I was saying all the time. I would say stuff like, oh, you know, I'm trying to do this. Oh, I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, I'm trying to do my best. Oh yeah, you know, I'm trying to keep the house clean. And I would say it so nonchalantly. And the lady had asked me, oh, what are you doing? I said, oh, you know, I'm trying to be this. I don't remember exactly what I said. And she said, excuse me, ma'am, start again how are you doing and what are you doing? And then I rephrased and said, I'm doing this. And it was so powerful because it seems like a small switch, but really what she was calling me out on is, no, you're not trying to do something. You're either doing it or you're not. And if you are doing it, don't play small by putting trying as a qualifier in front of it. Own the fact that I'm starting a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. I'm cleaning my house more. I'm working on cleaning my house more, whatever it is owning it and trying is a word that particularly us women can sometimes get caught into using more than we need to we're not trying to do stuff we're doing it so own that sis. own that along with me the second word that i'm intentionally removing from my vocabulary is just that's right just I use just so many times in a day, particularly at work, and I never was intentionally conscious about it until recently where I realized in my emails I would say things like, hey, I just wanted to check in on this, or hey, I'm reaching out because, you know, I just wanted to check in and see where things are, or I would say things in meetings such as, oh, I just wanted to chime in here, or oh, I just noticed this, and really, whether or not I realized it, it was me disqualifying what I had to say as something small, something just. Women, a lot of times we do this when we say, oh, you know, I'm just a mom, or I'm just a wife, or I'm just this. But the truth is, all these things, all these hats that we wear are huge and are important and are badass, and it doesn't do anybody any favors by us qualifying it with just. The last and final phrase that I'm intentionally working on removing from my vocabulary is the words, I'm sorry. And to explain this more, I'm not saying that I'm never apologizing anymore. I'm sorry is incredibly powerful and so useful to be able to say when you're sorry. But when you're not sorry, ain't no reason to be telling everybody you're sorry. Um, I noticed that this is something particularly I feel like as a woman I've been socialized to say all the time constantly apologizing oh you know I'm sorry I, I didn't mean to interrupt I was just saying this or oh you know I'm sorry I bump into somebody I'm sorry it's, it's almost a habit and the truth is in some of those situations I mean it in terms of oh I'm sorry I didn't mean to make you feel that way um, but in other situations it literally just comes out as a habit and ain't nobody got time to constantly be uh, be apologizing for existing and for being a human which is sometimes what it comes down to so that one of the three is probably the hardest one to break just because it's habit um, for me at least 
excessively apologizing, it really eliminates our, our credibility and downplays the fact that we are powerful people, wonderful humans who have every right to live, breathe, exist, make mistakes, and thrive. So if you're interested in going along on this journey with me, go on and click the subscribe button, go on and comment and be like, yes, Sanj, I'm in it with you. And if there's some phrases that you're working on eliminating, drop those down below too, because I would love to hear about them. Again, hit that young subscribe button. I would love to continue getting to know you as we work together towards being our most beautiful, most authentic, um, God created selves. Thanks for listening.